Manicurist Practice Written Test 2, 20 Questions and Answers. Be sure to study and review all information required by your state regarding your manicurist written exam. Please read your textbook for more information. Number 1. The blank nerve supplies the fingers. A. Digital. B. Median. C. Ulnar. D. Radial. Answer A. Digital. Number 2. A blank tip is usually altered at the well line to expose more of the natural nail. A. Full well. B. Partial well. C. Full coverage. D. Well less. Answer B. Partial well. Number three. What might happen if you put a nail tip that is too small onto a nail plate? A. It may eventually split and crack. B. It will easily rest on the nail. C. The tip might pop off. D. It will create a glitch or unevenness. Answer is C. The tip might pop off. Number four. A nail technician should be especially careful when using which of the following to avoid the possibility of the skin to be scratched and a portal of entry for pathogenic microorganisms to be created. A. Lotion. B. Mask. C. Foot soak. D. Exfoliating scrub. Answer is D. Exfoliating scrub. Number 5. How often would you typically recommend that clients come in for pedicures? A. Weekly. B. Bi-weekly. C. Every four weeks. D. Every six weeks. Answer is C. Every four weeks. Number 6. Which of the following protects the skin from damage caused by ultraviolet rays? A. Hand creams. B. Hand lotions. C. Nail conditioners. D. Sunscreens. Answer is D. Sunscreens. Number 7. In massage, a rapid tapping or striking motion of the hands against the skin is called A. Petrissage B. Effleurage C. Tapotement D. Vibration Answer is C. Tapotement Number 8. The regulation for performing nail services within your state helps you map your A. Scope of practice B. Capacity of service C. Extent of practice D. Bounds of business Answer is A. Scope of practice Number 9. Which product would you pick up to prevent chipping and add a shine or matte finish to the nails? A. Gel polish B. Top coat C. Base coat D. Nail hardener Answer is B. Top coat Number 10. Which kind of viscosity would provide the best adhesion? A. Thick B. Thin C. Very thin D. It does not matter Answer is C. Very thin Number 11. 
What is a dip system? A. A resin and monomer liquid-based system. B. A resin and polymer powder-based system. C. A monomer liquid and acrylic-based system. D. A monomer liquid and polymer powder system. The answer is B, a resin and polymer powder based system. Number 12, when using a resin system with a wrap, when should you apply the resin? A, before the wrap. B, after the wrap. C, before and after the wrap. D, after and only with fiberglass wraps. Answer is C, before and after the wrap. Number 13, when should gel nails be cured? A, after each finger is completed. B, after each hand is completed. C, after both hands are completed. D, every one to two minutes. Answer is A, after each finger is completed. Number 14, which of the following is the ideal mix ratio for working with monomer liquids and polymer powders? A, dry bead. B, medium bead. C, equal bead. D, wet bead. Answer is B, medium bead. Number 15, catalysts are A, additives designed to speed up chemical reactions. B, added to control curing time. C, able to energize and activate initiators. D, all of the above. Answer is D, all of the above. Number 16, mono means blank and mer means blank. A, one units. B, units one. C, many units. D, units many. The answer is A, one units. Number 17, what does polymer mean? A, one unit. B, many units. C, many mono. D, one mono. Answer is B, many units. Number 18, which bit is short and cone shaped? A, jewelry bit. B, sanding band. C, natural nail disc. D, tapered barrel. Answer is D, tapered barrel. Number 19, the speed of an electric file is measured in a. Grits. B. RPM. C. Bits. D. Torque. Answer is B. RPM. Number 20. In general, when using an electric file, always keep the bit A. Flat and parallel. B. At a 45 degree angle. C, at a 90 degree angle. D, at the most comfortable angle. The answer is A, flat and parallel. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. 
Good luck on your exam. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you are currently studying for your manicures written exam. You guys, don't forget, keep going, keep growing. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.